support our coverage using Blueberry, the community that gives creators the ability to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get 30 days to try out the service using promo code BLUEBERRY004. That's B-L-U-B-R-R-Y-004. All right, so I've got Luca Nistola. No. With, no? Holger Hendricks. Oh, Holger Hendricks with us? Oh, sorry. It was with Green Tag AG. So, Holger, welcome to the show. T and l tell us about what you guys are doing here with Core. Yeah, thanks for hosting me. Um, Core is the first non invasive temperature sensor, and it's used actually mainly for endurance sports. Because in endurance sports, you have the problem you are active, you're getting hot, but at a certain point, your power is actually going down because your body is investing more into cooling than empowering your muscles. And with monitoring it, you know at which stage you are. That's interesting. So if you're doing a team sport or team, you can tell the, the rider, the runner, maybe it's time to yeah, back exactly. off a little bit. Exactly. So we actually launched it a year ago at the Tour de France. Mm -hmm with only one team and then actually at the upcoming Giro d'Italia already like four other teams were using it and then at this last year's 2021 to the France uh, out of 23 teams 19 were using it and it was even used also during the Olympic Games because there in Tokyo you had a very hot and humid climate and people wanted to actually train at home for this hotter climate and then adapt to the heat. So what has been you know, obviously we're getting real deep in the weeds here, but on the mm -hmm. Tour de France, what did, how did that, from a rules standpoint, did you have to get this approved to be used as a monitoring device? Yes, so that's approved uh, by the UCI, and um, it's actually, yeah, um, you can directly see it on the bike computer, only the rider, and um, so it's not getting transmitted oh, to so the... Oh, it's not transmitted to the team, so yeah. it's only by the rider. So exactly. the rider has to make the adjustment. Exactly. But, you know, sometimes the rider's between a rock and a hard place. He's got to keep pushing, so he's going to know that he's, you know, he's, he's going to be potentially giving up... Uh, En more energy than he should so so what is it actually is it a is it a stick mount so or so actually usually the riders they put it directly on the heart rate monitor oh, strap. okay but i was using it today with a double-sided medical tape so yeah. if you want to use it let's say every day or for sleeping sure so like to see like how your temperature drops at night yeah. then you use this double-sided medical tape so what then besides sports are people using this for? Yeah, that's a good question. So uh, we see actually also interested from the patient monitoring side. And during the corona crisis, we got from the FDA the emergency oh. use authorization. So whenever you get a fever, you want to know like, okay, am I still like above a certain threshold or is it getting better? So it was one of those things where they're using this for home monitoring or actually in hospital monitoring of the patients? Right now, mostly actually for remote monitoring at home. Remote um, monitoring. But we have some clinical trials where people are using it already on COVID station in Switzerland. So we are based in Switzerland. That's where our home market is. But for sports, we've seen actually directly a very international uh, demand for this. It's very surprising that this is the first. It seems like this would have been a something that would have been on the market for a while so it's kind of surprising to me you guys yeah. are the first on the market with so, this so the magic is actually we are producer of a so-called heat flux sensor very small it's not a temperature sensor it's a so-called thermal energy transfer sensor so what what we are measuring is what is the heat coming out of your body and with a, actually as a reference the skin temperature sensor and an algorithm we can then detect what's really inside and that's oh. why we can use it also for sports because for sports, you have a lot of cooling, you have wind, you have sun. That's right. And a normal temperature sensor would not get the exact temperature. That's right, because it would uh, be reactionary from either the sun or the wind versus getting it internally. I got gotcha. you. Oh, very, 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 very interesting. So what is the normal, is it a subscription model? What's the retail on this? Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, what is the what's what's the pricing? So uh, uh, pricing is two hundred seventy Swiss uh, dollars, and uh, there's no subscription with it. You get directly access to the app, and we also have a cloud. We have third-party connectivity with Garmin, for example, or Wahoo, so you can see it on your on your watch or bike computer. Right, very very cool. So it's called Core Core Body Temperature Monitor. Where can they find more information about this? Where can they go on the web to yeah. find this? Our webpage is corebodytemp.com, and there you 
see all the information, social media, Instagram, Facebook. Available here in the United States now? Yes, we actually ship from Pennsylvania and um, yeah, will it's they, a customer in two days. Will they find it on Amazon? And that's my <laughs> oh, temperature <awesome>. in Celsius. <laughs> okay. So. Will they find this on Amazon by chance? Or no, no? no, we're not on Amazon. Okay, so they'd have to go to the website yeah. at this time. All right, outstanding. Well, Holger, thank you for coming and showing this off. And for those of you that are sports enthusiasts out there or maybe in the health field, lots of options on this. So thank you much. Appreciate you coming. Thank you. Have a yeah. good day. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. TPN CES 2022 coverage is executive produced by Michelle Mendez. Technical directors are Kurt Corliss and Adam Barker. Associate producers are Nancy Ertz and Maurice McCoy. Interviews are edited by Joe Minnie. Hosts are Marlo Anderson, Todd Cochran, Scott Ertz, Christopher Jordan, Danielle Mendez, and Elante Sparks. Las Vegas studio provided by HC Productions. Remote studio provided by Plug Hits Productions. This has been a Tech Podcast Network production. Copyright 2022.